Hello everyone, it's Jen here, also known as the Diamond Painting Gamer and a uh, very warm welcome to my channel. Um, a uh, big hello to all my uh, subscribers and all the people that have watched me regularly grow over the last uh, few months and uh, hello to you who um, have maybe stumbled across me uh, just recently. Um, if you um, want to follow me on my diamond painting journey uh, yeah please uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel and I uh, would love to have you here. Anyway, what we have for you today is a kitten up and um, oh, random noise. Um, what we have for you today is a kitten up and it is this uh, beautiful um, cushion cover. Um, now I unboxed that um, in an earlier video. It was in my Easy Whim January box and it was one of my extra craft items. It's got a beautiful soft canvas back uh, with a zip two thirds of the way down. Plenty of room in there for a cushion. And it is 40 by 40, I think, is the, um, the dimensions of the whole thing. But it's a beautiful butterfly uh, on um, some gorgeous uh, pink flowers. So um, what we'll do is we'll put this to the side, we'll get kitted up and we'll have a look at the drills and all the beautiful colours that are in the cushion. Right. So, oops, I'm having a bit of a clatter today. Now this did come with an inventory, funnily enough. Uh, yes. But I'm not going to use this. I'm actually going to stick this in my logbook just in case anything pops off or comes off that canvas so I know what goes on. Um, I suppose I could put all this colour match. It couldn't have. Anyway, I'm going to um, write the letter symbol on this um, set of containers here. It's the 28 containers, the ones that are joined together in groups of four. I think they're quite common. I think a lot of people have these. It's kind of what they have, you know, a lot of people have those when they kind of first start diamond painting. So we'll start at the beginning of the train. And the beginning of the train is X. And that's 310. And that's going to go in at least two um, of these compartments. Yeah, at least two. Yeah, they've got it's gonna go into three. It'll go into two if I keep knocking them all over the floor, won't it? Um, to be fair, I've got tons of um round three ten. Claire, if you're watching, I'm doing a Claire. <laughs> Shall I put it on a boat? <laughs> um, if you watch um, Claire's channel, uh, Diamond Painting Claire, you'll know what I mean by doing a Claire. Yeah, definitely into three. Okay. Next one, symbol number is H, and H is a blue, and it's 334. Oh gosh, I am doing so much blue diamond painting at the moment. It is unreal. Um, so I'm almost at the time of recording of this, um, two sections away of completing uh, Night Messenger, which is pretty much all blue and black. Uh, now, I love blue. It's my favourite colour to diamond paint. But, um, yeah, I'm getting a bit fed up with it. <laughs> uh, plus, I'm also doing Pisces, uh, Josephine Wall. 
I've actually not done any of that for a while actually I need to get back into doing it I tend to be distracted by doing a lot of these small projects um, oh by the way this is uh, 349 this colour which is a that's definitely not blue isn't it that's a lovely orangey red um, and I'm on the sky um, of course what colour's the sky it's blue so I, I seem to be doing quite a lot of blue at the moment and if you saw the easy one unboxing, you'll have seen that those paintings there, two out of the three of them, are blue. So, yeah, lots and lots and lots of blue. But this is a lovely sunshine yellow we've got here, 444. Nice to do some different colours, nice to get away from the blue, actually. I've got C is the next one. And that's a buttery yellow. Oh my gosh, can you hear all that burning? That's my son. 16 years old. They can never be quiet, can they? They're always like really noisy. Okay, next one is S, and S is a really nice uh, sort of baby, it's like a baby teal, it's like a baby bluey green, very pale. Seven four seven is the number of that one. DMC number. It's, it's good to actually have the DMC numbers. I'm not going to keep these. I, I will probably um, discard these drills, but uh, discard. Listen to it. it sounds like I'm up, up my work. Um, I, I won't keep those drills. That looks like a two, doesn't it, rather than a Z. Um, but I, I do have some of these colours anyway. So it's another blue. Back into the blues again, eh? Can't, can't get everything to get away from them at the moment. Why? It's uh, it's uh, 807. So blue green. Next we have B, and now my cat's scratching at my door. We'll leave them for the moment. B stands for blue. Well, he's meowing now. B stands for blue, which is eight to five. It's just going to have to wait. Uh, 10 is T. Oh, and this is a lovely uh, magenta pink. Not very many of those. Hope I've got enough. I always get a bit worried when I only see a few drills. Um, but yeah, hopefully we're only needing one or two of those. Next is L, L's a bit more of a, a Barbie pink, and I'm throwing them all over the place as well. And then he's got the hair dryer on now. <laughs> So I'll go here. It's Sunday evening, so school tomorrow. N is a, uh, that's a really nice pink, that one, another bright, I've actually got a top that colour. It's, um, it's, it's a nice backless top actually that I've got, that I, I like to wear in the summer. Uh, 13 is a P. Uh, 
more pinks. It's nice to, nice to see some pinks, actually. Um, it's been a while since I've done any sort of pinks. That, you know, there are a few in Pisces, but the, you know, the section that I'm doing, there's not very many in. But this is a nice salmon pink. I think that's going to have to go into two um, containers. It's okay, I'm not worried about that. I've got plenty of containers. 14 is J. And that is a pale blue. 3755. Oh gosh, I've been using a lot of 3755 lately. Um, F more of a baby blue and that's DMC 3841 oh, one's still stuck in there Go, there we go. You now, and that's a, a nice bright, a nice bright green. And the last one is K, and again, I think I'm going to need three for K. That's rather an unfortunate um, uh, combination of letters there. Although it could be worse. So the white, well, yeah, 3865. So it's the one that's the kind of more um, off white. It's not the kind of bright white. So the bright white's like the 5200. So 3865 is a slightly more off white. But anyway. That didn't take long, did it? So there we go, there's all our colours. It's a, a veritable rainbow going on there. So that's going to be really pretty. Um, we've got our um, schematic, our um, legend. I'll just pop into the box here. Uh, I might just trim, trim it down a little bit so that it'll fit in. So there we go. That is our um, drills all kitted up. Here is our cushion. And what I will do is I will start working on this. But I am not going to start this until I have finished um, Night Messenger. And I also want to complete a roll on I, I, I want to finish off um a section in um pisces as well then i think when i've done those I'll, I'll do a little bit on um i'll start doing this cushion yeah but um what i will do is um i will hold off posting this cutting up until actually actually until after i've finished the cushion and i will um yeah i will tack the post completion on to the end of this kitting up so you can see um the finished result so um yeah thank you for watching the first part of the video and i will be with you in well it'll only be a matter of seconds for you but it's probably going to be at least a week for me so yeah 
I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Okay, guys. So, uh, welcome back. And here is the finished um, cushion cover or pillowcase. Um, this took me about four days to do on and off. Um, I just did a little bit and then, um, you know, it, and then went back to my big paintings and I did a little bit more and then went back to my big paintings again. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's very nice. I think I'll probably seal this, um, even though it's kind of decorative. Um, I wouldn't like to run the risk of somebody sitting on it and taking half the drills off. <laughs> so yeah, I will seal it, but not um, not right at this minute. Um, if you're interested to know what I use to seal, I use this uh, Craft Buddy um, Crystal Art Sealer, which you can get on Amazon. I'll link it down below if you're interested. Um, yeah, it's fine. Drills are great. Um, not too much trash. Plenty to uh, do the diamond painting. Oops, this will be spared. A wee free one here. Um, part of the reason as well why I'm, why I'm also going to seal it is the glue has kind of gone over a little bit at the sides. Not not at this side, but at this side it has. So just uh, here, for example. Don't know whether you can the microphone's picking that up but um yeah so that's another reason why i'm going to seal it but yeah I, I really like this it's quite sweet it'll kind of go with i've got another cushion cover um so it'll kind of go with that as well yeah nice bit of fun in terms of the leftover drills oh let me scooch in a little bit in terms of the leftover drills um we had plenty. Um, this did. This had seventeen colours, so um, actually it was a a decent amount. Um, but yeah, not a massive amount of leftover drills. But the empty boxes are ones where I had actually the same colour in in multiple boxes. So it's not that I've run out of drills there. So. Now these, now you can see, see there, I've actually got two colours mixed together. That was my fault. Um, I put them in the wrong uh, tub. But uh, it was after I had finished diamond painting that darker pink, so it wasn't really an issue. Um, I won't be keeping these drills. Oh, you've seen these ones. Yeah, I won't be keeping these drills. Um, I'll just... Uh, get rid but um they did come with the mc number so you know i could keep them and color match them but i'm not going to bother so yeah so that is uh, the cushion cover from uh, the easy whim january box now in addition to this cushion cover i also uh, did the two um, non-diamond painting projects so First of all, we have this gorgeous little squirrel, a uh, little 3D um, puzzle, wooden puzzle. He is as cute as anything. Now, some of the pieces are, um, are a little bit loose. So what I might do is I might just take them off and uh, just pop a little bit of glue on just, just to hold it, um, hold them steady. That's got a wee bit of uh, wood that's split there. We'll just trim that with a pair of scissors. But isn't he the cutest thing? Now this probably took me about half an hour to build up. The pieces come, the wooden pieces come in a uh, um, you know, in bed. They're, they're sort of like in a you've know, seen the unboxing. They're in a um, how do you describe it? You press them out. They're they're in a solid piece of wood or a full piece of wood. It's like a kind of balsa wood, and you just pop them out. Um, they're kind of die cut or laser cut, and you just pop them out of the piece of wood. Um, so sometimes what happened there was it would catch and and the little bits would pull. But but yeah, he's lovely. He's super cute. Okay, and the so we'll, well, let's let's have him up here. Can you, we, we don't want him out of shot. Yeah. 
the other thing I made was the paper quilling necklace. Now, it's been a while since I've done any paper quilling. Um, I used to do it. I used to do quite a lot of paper crafting. Um, some bits have turned out better than others. So, for example, this one here looks really good. Oh, <laughs> cats on the bed playing uh, so this one here looks really good uh, this one looks good as well uh, this one however <laughs> not quite so good um, that went a bit wonky this one went a bit wonky so I mean it's not perfect um, but you know I'm, I'm quite impressed because it has been a while since I've done paper quilling but this took about a couple of hours yeah a couple of hours um the glue i use i mean oh, everything came with the kit by the way um this is what the back looks like it's a bit of black card um everything came with the kit so all the paper quilling materials the only things i had to supply were a pair of scissors and some glue and the glue that i use is um I think I've shown this on my channel before, is this high tack um, sticky glue. It dries clear, it's really good. Um, again, I think you can get this on Amazon. You can also get it in a variety of craft shops. I'll link the Amazon, um, put the Amazon link down below if you're interested. But this is a fantastic glue. Um, yeah. Anyway, um, yep, yeah, that's those finishes uh, from the Easy Win box. Uh, the off the canvas uh, cushion cover, um, the and also my little um, my little squirrel and my little um, uh, paper quilled necklace. Yay. While I was making this, actually, I was thinking the next time if I ever get a paper quilling kit because it, you know, it took me a, a little bit of time to sort of get my hand back in to, to doing it. So you obviously, you can see the ones I did earlier, but. Uh, I was thinking maybe the next time I do something that's paper quilling, I might um yeah I might I might film it if you're interested. As I said, I, I, I've paper quilled in the past. It's just practicing again to get it look uh, looking how it should. <laughs> anyway, um, thank you very very much for watching uh, this video. Um, please, uh, if you've liked it, hit the like button down below and um. Yeah, if you would like to subscribe and you haven't subscribed already, uh, yeah, I'd love to uh, have you come along with me on my diamond painting, quilling, <laughs> crafty journey. Okay, I'll see you in my next video, guys. Cheerio!